Okay, let's uh, let's end up the show today doing fourth down. Interesting topic. Siskel and Ebert now, Stephen A. and, and Skip Bayless. Mm -hmm. It's setting all kinds of records, the Dark Knight, the new Batman. Overrated or underrated, Skip? Well, Jay, my friend Stephen A. is a great actor, so let me explain <laughs> why The Dark Knight is a good movie, but not a great one. Oh. I didn't like it that, number one, Batman had only the third largest role in this movie. Number two, I didn't like it that the Joker was the superhero. He was indestructible. He never even bled once in this mm -hmm. movie. I thought Jack Nicholson played a better Joker than Heath Ledger. Oh, my God! God, God bless oh. Heath Ledger, but I just did. I thought Aaron Eckhart deserves the Academy Award award nomination because he delivered a better performance as the hero and the villain than Heath Ledger did as just the villain. Mm -hmm. And finally, guitar, I must yes. say that Maggie Gyllenhaal was weak as the love interest because I didn't buy her at all. And you, the you last gotta, point, the I last know, I point, I, was, I would agree with you there. I wasn't feeling her at all. A role like that, you need to get a Halle Berry Beyonce, somebody. How about a Sanaa Lathan, a Gabrielle Union, somebody like that, even a sister. Just throw them up. And somebody fine. She wasn't it. You got me there. Every other point that you made, I think, is utterly ridiculous. Because? This movie was an A movie. And I'm going to tell you the biggest reason why. Yeah, granted, Batman wasn't even the star. It was really the Joker mm -hmm. or what have you. They had black, but the bottom line is this. You look at it, it was one of those rare movies. It's supposed to be this action hero and all of this other stuff. It made you think. It touched on your soul. In other words, how bad would you become? You're just like, the Joker was trying to say, everybody's like the rest of us. Y'all are just like me. You are no better. Just let me put you in this situation and show you how mm -hmm. evil you could be. You look like the Joker. I keep telling you that. And he was the star of the movie. He was, and, I never, guy. and I I'll never that. ever thought that I would see anybody that would outperform <laughs> Jack Nicholson. But Heath Ledger, he's Wait. the real Joker now. We'll never think about Jack as the oh, Joker again. Please. It was phenomenal. Can we throw Come the split on. screen up? Real throw quick? That I don't screen think up. Steven saw it. Look at him. Ah! He looked just like Skip. He looked just <laughs> like Skip. I tell you, the Joker. That's you. It sort of fits too. Without the makeup, but it's you. Skip Bayless daily here. Actually, on I take it back Jay with the, the makeup. Joker. Jay, I'm Batman. There you go. <laughs> don't right. miss me, ain't you? You well, don't miss me, ain't you? We're out of time for our debate topic. Right, Stephen A. Always a pleasure to have you. Absolutely. Again. Always fun. Yeah. Still to come, we're going to answer the Sports Nation poll question: Do you want your starting quarterback or Brett Favre? Let's see what the Sports Nation said when we come back. I, I got to tell you, Skip, there is an uncanny resemblance, and I've I'm, never seen the two of you. I in the said same he looked just a really like a looking guy. <laughs> I told y'all. Wow.